Hey, good morning, guys. Tosh coming at you. Sunday morning, July 13th, and about uh, 8.30. I'm just coming up to 8.30. An early start to the morning. We were out here since about 7 this morning and uh, we've managed to clean the garage up and we've put the uh, cars up on stands so we can get at the interior a little easier. So I think that's what we're going to continue with today. Maybe we'll try to get the uh, dash support brackets in and like I said we'll probably dig the wiring harness out fairly soon. That's the plan for today. It's uh, kind of a crappy day outside. It rained uh, early morning. So the ground's still a little bit wet. It's quite humid today. So I'll have the fans on in the garage again today. Right now it's about uh, 70, getting close to 75 or so. 74 on this one, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. So 25 degrees Celsius, somewhere around there. Anyway, that's it for about now, guys. Kind of tired this morning, so I may not be making too much sense. But uh, <clears throat> we thought we'd get out here. I've only got a few more days of vacation left. i got to go back to work on Wednesday. So we'll get as much done as we can before we uh, get back to the real world. All right, guys. Talk this to is coming bit. up to uh, 10 after 11. And we've got the heater core out, or the heater. And uh, just attached the hoses. I'm of two minds on this project. I'm thinking that this somehow is screwed up, but uh, maybe it's right. I, there's no other way I can do it, but I was thinking that the hoses are actually at the back of this area, not towards the front. But I could be wrong. There's, like I said, there's no way to change this plate, this mounting plate. That's the only way it can go. So I, I must be right, but in my mind it just looks wrong. Anyway, yeah, maybe if there's some TR3 guys watching this, they can correct me if I'm wrong. But there's no way I can change it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, we're going to stick that up there. Talk to you in a bit. So yeah, now I'm pretty sure after trying to fit this that um, this is not correct. I believe these are supposed to be on this side. But uh, like I said, there's no way for me to change it based on this top plate and the way these pins are. There's no re way to relocate it. Anyway, I think I can fix it. The only thing is these uh, pipes are substantially too long. They're fouling, uh, not the pipes are fouling, but when I put the, uh, the hoses on, they're just going to kink. So. What I'm going to do is I've got quite a bit of uh, excess here. I think I'm going to trim these down um, slightly so I can get this under the bulkhead. That's the plan anyway. I mean, I've got enough meat on there to uh, to basically get the pipe on and the clamp without a problem. All right, That's talk to you later. definitely a problem, even with those cut down a little bit. There's no way I'm going to be able to get that in there because it's going to foul on that uh, plate. The thing is, this came out of one of the cars that I have, so it was in a car. There's no way I can change the mounting plate, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. I'm baffled at the moment. So I wish I had some better pictures. Maybe I'll have to go through my uh, my pictures and see what the heck if this was assembled this way. And I believe it came out of this car, so we'll have to take some pictures and figure it out. Anyway, that's kind of got me uh, a little bit intrigued, pissed, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. All right, guys, uh, doing some further uh, alterations to make this heater fit. So this is the way it fits currently. And basically, I need this to mount this way. So what I need to do is I need to cut a recess in the cover so I can mount it this way. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this out. And hopefully that'll work. Uh, I guess if it doesn't, I can always weld it back on. Talk to you later. All right, guys, here's uh, the modified box. And uh, hopefully that'll work. I haven't fitted in the car yet, but uh, that's the direction the bracket is supposed to be with the uh, heater hoses coming out towards the back of the car. So and that's the right location, I believe, for the, um, that's for the ducting that comes up out of there. So uh, anyway, we'll give it a fit in the car. Hopefully it works because that was a couple hours work doing that, if you can believe that or not. Taking it apart, changing the motor around and that kind of stuff. Cutting the top. Doing it a couple times. Anyway, we'll uh, see if that well, works. Well, guys, it's up in there, and I think that's a success. The uh, pipes fit okay back there. The only thing is I need to pull it back out 
is we need to get that uh, scuttle drain hose on first so because uh, I won't be able to get it on later so we'll have to find a piece of tubing to stick on there so we'll pull the heater back out anyway we know that it fits which is a good thing and then we'll get a piece of hose to stick on that scuttle vent and we'll be done with it we'll move on thanks guys Okay, just coming up to 5.30, started on the wiring harness, made my first connection at the flasher. Uh, probably going to stop there. No, I'm just kidding. We'll continue on until we get stuck. See you in a bit. Hey, good evening guys. Tush coming at you. It's just coming up to uh, 10.30. Another long day in the garage, uh, but uh, looking good. So we managed to uh, start on the wiring harness, which is good. We've got a few connections uh, made at the front here. We got the wiper motor hooked up, and we got uh, some of the connections at the voltage regulator, and just working on the fuse box. And we got the flasher unit all connected, and we got the harness going forward. As you might have noticed on the way by, uh, we got the dash in. I'm gonna give you a quick look at that. So it's just sitting in there. It's not uh, completely tied, tightened up yet. But we've got the, uh, the heater in behind with the ducting. The uh, steering wheel column support is in. The um, bulkhead heater hoses are in. Obviously the pedal boxes are in. Um, I've just got the gauge cluster just sat in there. No wiring to it yet. You can see the bunch down on the floor there just waiting to go to it. So uh, we've just got the capping on temporarily. That's not going to be screwed in for a little while. And uh, so things are coming together. It was a long day and a little bit of a frustrating day, particularly in regards to that heater. So we've actually had to modify it slightly to get it to fit, but uh, everything looks like it's plumbed up okay. So I'm happy with that in the end. So that's pretty much about it. I'll just give you a quick uh, look at it. I don't know how well this is coming out. It's pretty dark in the garage. I could flip on the other lights. <coughs> It's coming along. Alright guys, that's it for tonight. Uh, we'll probably get out here tomorrow. And uh, kind of made some room to get the TR6 in. It looks like it's going to uh, maybe thunderstorm tonight. So, poor thing was out in the rain last night. Anyway, we'll bring it in for tonight. And uh, like I said, we'll get out here tomorrow and we'll do a little work on the car. I do need to spend some time on that car as well. I got a show coming up on uh, Sunday next week, so I got to get that thing ready to roll, get it cleaned up. So we may take some time off of this car and work on the TR6, give it some loving. All right, guys, that is it for tonight, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.